So let's, let's take a look at some types of levers. The first kind of lever is called a first class lever. And this is a lever in, of this type has a fulcrum in the middle between where you apply the force and where you get the force out. And so on this picture right here, right there is the fulcrum. On this side, I can apply force in and I will get force out on this side. Some examples of first class levers are seesaws, scissors, and if you take a look at a pair of scissors, there's a point at which it, it uh, pivots about, that's where the nut is. You will put your hands on one side of the scissors and then you get force out on the other side. And so scissors and pliers and uh, lots and lots of styles of tools in which you apply one uh, force on one side. A balance is the old style balance where you put masses on both sides. That's called a first class lever. And to be honest, it's a lever that most people think of when you mention a lever. The next style of lever is a second class lever. And in a second class lever, it has a fulcrum on one end, you apply the force on the other, and your force output is in the middle. And so, if we look at this example of a wheelbarrow, right there is the fulcrum. And then, once again, where your hands go on the handles, that is force in, that's the force that you apply, and then whatever you're carrying in the basket is a force out. So wheelbarrows are a great example of a second class lever. Now, I think that the idea of a door being a second class lever is more powerful because you see doors all the time. So let's see. Here's my door. What is on one edge of my door, the place in which it pivots? These things called hinges are where the door pivots on. And so as you open it up, the hinge pivots, and that is your fulcrum. Now most doors that I know, they have a door handle on the opposite side of the hinges, right? And is that where you apply a force? That is the force in. And then finally, the force out is the door itself. The door swings open and closed. That is the force out. So every door that you see, if it has hinges on it, is a second class lever. A third class lever has a fulcrum on one side, but you apply the force in the middle. And uh, there are a couple third-class levers. In fact, your whole body is made up of third-class levers. If you take a look at the way in which your elbow works, right here is your elbow. That is the fulcrum. That is where this joint pivots. And then you have a very large, massive muscle on the front of your uh, arm. It's called your bicep. It's right there. And it attaches to your arm right here. So in other words, you apply a force in this direction. That is the force in. The place that you get your force back out is probably in the palm of your hand because that applies a force in that direction as well. That's your force out. And so now stop and think, how many joints do you have in your body? hundreds, literally hundreds of different joints, and each one of the joints is a type of lever because the muscle attaches to the bone in very particular places. A baseball bat is another example of a third class lever, although it doesn't have any fulcrum, it just has a place in which it uh, pivots about. And most baseball players, they put their hands right here in order to swing the bat and hit the baseball that way. This is a third class lever.